Good morning, interwebs. It's just a little after 1.30. I've been up since a little before noon. I took a shower, got dressed. It's nice out today, and it rained hard and a lot last night, and so that, that's a puddle of yesterday's puddle playing clothes, and today's, I've got, I've got mud-covered children in the tub, and Steve is trying to help Kuma be a little less, less mud-covered so that he can at some point come back in the house. The dog, not Steve. I have, in addition to showering and stuff, I put the vlog together, it's compressing, and I got out all the things that we're gonna have for lunch because today we're gonna have smorgasbord, we're gonna have leftover, there's rice, and there's leftover like sweet and sour beef with the veggies, and gravy from yesterday, and we have Johnny cakes, and fruit compote, and sausage and apples. So it's going to be quite the assortment of foods today. And I need to go and get myself a cup of coffee because I haven't had any yet. And that's Kuma who does not like his feet being touched. But unfortunately he drags them through the mud. So he should really reconsider. If he doesn't want his feet cleaned, he should um, not go in the muddy puddles. And the cats are extremely interested in this whole process. So it's like 3.40. I'm just sitting here hanging out with Steve eating my ice cream out of a really fancy dish today. Super fancy. Almost as fancy as Steve's dish, but not quite. His is pink because it's strawberry. So it's a little fancier than my tin roof dish. And I was working on um, formatting a pattern and like working up a sample and I really should find somebody who can count to do my samples for me because it's really depressing when you look at the pattern and you can't blame the designer or the pattern for being bad. When you read it, you're like, nope, this is exactly right. I am just incompetent and can't count. Mostly because I can't use my fingers because I'm busy using them to hook. So hopefully I can get this to the point where I can take it with me to dance and work on the straight, less uh, county bits. Well, I'm in the car waiting. And today they open the door, so I have to remember that and show up. So I'm not like all the parents that don't show up. This is a shoe of my three-year-old's that I had to come back and get because it got dropped out of the vehicle during dance class. <sighs> at least I found it, right? Slightly less annoying? No, not really, no. But at least I have it now. So this evening has <sighs> been a frustrating evening. They happen. They happen more often when you have small children, but they happen. Oh, and Esmeralda? Yeah. My laundry's not put away either. Steve was nice to wash it and fold it, but it has not walked its way upstairs. I don't know why. <sighs> and I'm walking my way over here. The lighting will be better in just a second when I turn it back on. But, oh. Yes, so we had muffin tins for dinner because, well, it's Monday. My daughter wanted to make them again, so well, again, they were Interesting, we had uh, saltine and peanut butter sandwiches and cheese and applesauce. The applesauce, it was a really good jar. That is one of the best things about opening canned um, fruit from the basement is you never know what you're gonna get. Like, it's always delicious, but the level of delicious changes depending on the particular batch. So that's always kind of fun to see. Um, and then we also had a little bit of marshmallows and white chocolate chips. So that was good. And right now I'm going to put some water in this pot to make myself some tea. 
Oop, nope. That does not line up right there. Give me a sec. We're gonna set you right. Oh, we're gonna put you right there. Then I can use my hands. Okay, so. We had muffin tins. Being a parent's frustrating sometimes. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> um, I started, finished working up a new sample of um, the bunny toy pattern thing that I've been working on. So now I have another pattern done that needs a tutorial filmed. I think I have three, let's see, one, two, I guess I only have two or three that are fully written up, but I have like five items that are ready to make that all start happening. I'm just unmotivated to do it, which I should be more motivated. I'm just, I'm not. And I still, it's like, there's still patterns that haven't gone out yet that I've completed and already turned in. So it's not like there's a lack of content for the person to work with. I just need to like do it. Right? Yeah. But I started making another pattern tonight. I started working on a baby blanket. Got a sport weight, which, bleh. Sport weight is not my favorite weight, but I have a whole bunch of Bernat uh, baby sport that I had gotten. I bought a case of it, like, when I first started crocheting and discovered the e-tent at a... I guess it's just called the yarn e -tent. I don't know, it's the uh, Bernat and all that. The Spinrite yarns, yarn tent, that's what it is. Anyways, they have all sorts of yarn and they have case sales where they sell yarn very inexpensively, but you have to buy a case. Well, I bought a case of Bernat Baby Sport figuring, hey, it's thinner yarn. I wanted to try things that were not just worsted. Turns out I have a lot of this yarn and it's not my favorite. I don't mind the colors. I don't, I don't know, it's just not my favorite. So. I have a number of skeins of it that have not been used, and I need to start doing something with them. So, I'm working on a baby blanket right now because I figured it would be nice to make the pattern up, and also it will be good for rounding out my booth a bit because I do have a couple of Afghans that have been with me for over a year that are not selling in my booth, but I do know that I need some baby stuff. So, thought I'd make that up in the hopes of um, filling those needs. I'm gonna make myself some tea. Try to, uh, I don't know, find the uh, desire to do some of the things I should probably do tonight. I mean, I don't know that I have to film tonight. <sighs> I should film something, shouldn't I? I'm pathetic, but I'm not. So, yeah, I'll try and film something. Yes, filming will happen after tea. Tea first, then filming, because I also don't know for sure that my son is asleep yet. Yeah, that keeps becoming a thing. And it is after midnight. It is 12.34. Hey, one, two, three, four. That's always exciting. But anyways, tea. It is 3.30. And basically, I just got sucked into making this blanket, which I'm really enjoying. It's, I don't know. I think I got like that white a bit done. So decent amount done tonight once I kind of got going. I was enjoying it and I'm enjoying the little texture that it's making so maybe the Bernat baby isn't as bad as I thought. But still not my favorite yarn to like start working with. And I'm using it, I tried it on a J hook and I decided to move to an I. The yarn calls for a G but um, I wanted a looser like a squishy gauge instead of a tight gauge. But anyways, I think I'm headed to bed. I watched about a movie in two thirds tonight on Netflix and I think it's time to go to sleep. That way I can get up in the morning and be productive and do things. Yeah, That's the plan. I'm in a slightly better mood than I was in earlier, but still I'm just in a funky mood. I'm going to blame the weather because I think that's a convenient excuse for being in a funky mood. I don't necessarily think it's an excuse. I think it probably is part of it. I think everybody seems to be in kind of weird moods. And a bunch of the videos I'm watching, everybody else is in kind of weird moods too. So maybe it is the weather. I don't know. But anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.